Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. I'm coming on today because I want to share with you guys this DIY that I have to do today and it's going to be a wall sconce, um, wall decor. <laughs> I went to the Dollar Tree and I was so happy because I found these silver um, party bowls that they have. Um, I've seen lots of people with them in the US, but we didn't have them in Canada and now they're here so I'm so happy for that. You know these Dollar Trees, they don't all have the same things at the same time, so I'm glad we got this one. And also ladies, I went to the Dollar Tree and they have gems. Not this exact pack, but they're just like this. And they're at the Dollar Tree now, which I was so surprised, so that's a nice thing. Yeah. Okay, so here are the, the trays that I found, which are very nice. They're party bowls. I'm going to use them to do a wall sconce today. And I got three of them. And they also have these tea light candle holders, which are so cute. Yeah, I found these at the Dollar Tree, which these are so super cute, I think. And I have the gems that I'll be using. I'll be using the small gems and the large and the medium ones also. And those are from Dollarama. Now, this set here, I found at the Dollar and More store in my area. And I thought they were cute. I had them before, so I got another pack, so I might use that. And we have our scissors and our glue gun. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, you guys, we're going to start by placing a large gem in the center. And then we're just going to fill it out with small gems going all the way around. Just the center part. And now we're going to add the medium gems to the four corners, two in each of the corners going all the way around. Okay, now it's time to put our tea light holder into the center of our bowl. And we'll be using the E6000 along with our glue gun <laughs> to glue it down to the center of our bowl. And here's our finished look, you guys. Our wall sconce. Um, we put I put three of them together, side by side. And here we go. They're all blinged out with the gems. <laughs> I like how it's shiny and nice. I like how they look. Okay, here's a better look at the gems. Did the center and the corners. I did with the bigger gems. And underneath the tea light, I had to put these large gems because... There's a hole underneath the bottom of the tea lights, which I didn't understand. And where I'm going to place them, um, it was showing that there's a hole on the bottom. So I just put the holes, I just put the gems under there. Okay. 
and I'll be using command strips to hang them up. I use these ones here. And I also use these ones, the larger command strips. Now the large ones I'll be using to hang up this centerpiece because it has the candle hole and it's a little heavier. So I'm just going to use the large ones for this one. And for these ones, I'll be using the smaller strips because they're light. I always use command strips. I love using them to hang up my decor and I don't have any problems with it and it doesn't damage my walls. So that's why I like using them. And you can find them at Walmart, everyone. <laughs> and here's where I place them in my dining area. I think they look very nice up there. And here's a closer look at them. I really like how they turned out. And they have that, they add that added touch of bling to my space, which I like. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did for today. <laughs> and I hope I've inspired you add something nice to your home decor and if you'd like to see more of my DIY ideas don't forget to hit that subscribe button and remember as always stay blessed from Petal is Less. bye bye everyone <laughs> Come here, come here, young girl, please, uh, please, I'm a little, I'm a 